In this video, we're going to be talking about how long after your visa has been denied, you can reapply. And we're going to be using the information from the official website. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The link to this website will be in the description of this video. Now it's very important to know that after your denial, you can reapply. But when, right? So let's read along. After being found ineligible for a visa, you may reapply in the future. If you reapply for a visa after being found ineligible, with the exception of 22G refusals, you must submit a new visa application and pay the visa application fee again. So let's stop here and look at 21G refusals. So here is 21G refusals. A visa denial under this section means that the consular officer did not have all the information required to conclude you are eligible to receive a visa. This means that you are not eligible for the visa now for one of two reasons. Your application is incomplete and further documentation is required. So applicants whose application forms or other documentations are incomplete are refused. If further documents are required to complete your case, you will be informed what is needed and how to provide it to the embassy or consulate. You will also be given a letter stating your application has been denied under 221G and list which documents you need to provide. The second one is administrative processing. The consular officer could not conclude you are eligible for the visa sought and an additional administrative processing of your application is required. You'll be given a letter stating this. The embassy or consulate will contact you when the administrative processing is complete. So is there something that you can do about refusal under 21G? Yes, basically, right? If your application is denied because of documentation or information is missing, you can provide the missing documents or information as soon as possible. After submitting the documentation, your visa application can then be reassessed to determine whether or not you qualify for a visa. You have one year from the date you refuse a visa to submit the additional information. Otherwise, if you do not provide the required information within one year, you must reapply for a visa and pay another application fee. So in summary, if your application is denied under 221G, right, you will need to provide additional information or they will contact you. Under this category, you do not need to reapply for a visa. I am taking the information directly from the website so you can see for yourself, right? So you have the facts. If you are found ineligible under section 214B of the INA, if you are ineligible under section 214B of the INA, you should be able to present evidence of significant changes in your circumstances since your last application. See information below in the INA section 214B. So let's go to the section INA section 214B. This law applies only to non-immigrant visa categories. So if you refuse under this section, it means that you did not sufficiently demonstrate to the consular officer that you qualify for a non-immigrant visa category you applied for and or did not overcome the presumption of the immigrant intent required by law by sufficiently demonstrating that you have ties to your home country that will compel you to leave the United States at the end of your temporary stay. So what are considered as tied to your home country? 1. Your job 2. Your home and or your relationships with friends or family. If you are denied under this section, how long after you can apply is dependent on when your circumstances change. So let's say you were jobless and you got a job within a month. Then you can apply after a month because now you can show some ties to your country, right? You can literally apply a day or two after, but what will that do? That doesn't make any sense, right? That may just lead to another denial. Now let's say within say six months you purchase a house. That's some tie to your country, right? So you can take the proof to the embassy when you're going to apply for your visa. That's some tie. So again, it depends on when your circumstances change, you can reapply. So you, let's say you get a decent job after two weeks after your denial. Then it, it's safe to say 
that after two weeks after your denial, you can apply again. So as you can see, there is no straightforward time when you can apply. However, it depends on when your circumstances change. When you can prove to the embassy, say, hey, I'm not going to basically run off in your country. I will come back, right? I'm pretty much good, right? So then you can apply. So I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.